is a man of his word, so I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Stephen A. Smith. How y'all doing? <laughs> I can explain. <laughs> Actually, I can't. I got I to gotta be a man of my word and say I apologize. Savor this moment. I don't do this much. <laughs> I don't do this much. But I'm going to do it today. Justin Ross, I mean, looking like the second coming of Jerry Rice, I didn't see that. I didn't see that coming. I did not expect an annihilation of beat down. So you cherish these moments, you hold on to the relationships you cultivate, you hold on to the friendships and the family kind of atmosphere that you have. It's real easy for me to come here and apologize to y'all for picking against y'all because I know you're worthy. You ain't worthy because you won. You're worthy because of how you won. Don't just be focused on being winners. Be focused on helping to create winners. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Stephen A. and Davo there. We had a lot of fun at Clemson, and that was very big of you. And clearly, you hyped the guys up because they dominated. They had fun. They looked like they had yeah, fun. They, they, they had fun laughing at me because you were right. I was wrong. But it is Stephen A.'s birthday, so we got a hey. little surprise for you. This is from your sisters. I distance myself from this in case you're mad at this list. They put together a Stephen's A list of your top five quirks. Number five. <laughs> this script was given to me. He loves kid cereals. You still love and eat kid cereals. Sugar Pops and Captain Crunch are your very good friends. Good man. Let me get out of the way. Okay, there we go. Number four, bad singer and dancer. You think you can sing and you think you can dance, but your family says you're horrible and you have two left feet. Ooh. Number three, you're a family feud fake. You totally bombed when your family tried out for family feud. You were so nervous that when asked your favorite beverage, you said steak. <laughs> hamana, 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 hamana. Needless you to say, the this is your years, family, years ago. I was a teenager. I was scared to death. I was so nervous. Your family <laughs> right. has never gotten to go on the show. Number two, you're a soap opera fiend. You've been hooked on General Hospital since you were a kid. Maybe you were doing That's research true. True. for your character on Brick, who has no last name. That's right. That is true. That is true. And number, I've been a fan of General Hospital since I was eight years old. Yeah, and now you're on it. Yeah. Number one, you're a nonstop talker. Your family says you've been debating since you were born and just making noises, even if they were gurgling noises. <laughs> but you haven't stopped talking since you came out at age two from your beloved sisters. Happy birthday, Stephen A. Steak. Your favorite drink. How old were you? I was so nervous. I, I, was I had to be about. I, I had to be because I, I watched Family Feud from the days of Richard Dawson. Yeah. And we were auditioning, and I was so nervous. <laughs> I said, I said, They're still mad at you about it. Can you please get them on Family Feud? Can you bring them on Family Feud now? And then now we go. We go. And listen, Steve Harvey. Yeah. That's my brother. We yeah. can go on Family Feud anytime we want. And I, I bet you, I wouldn't be nervous now. I think. I think, no. I think I, I might be nervous, nervous again. Now. I think I would be nervous on Family Feud, especially with Steve Harvey there. He would mess with me big time. He really would. He really would. That would I would be nervous. I don't know. If we went on together, I, you'd have to lead the way, bro. <laughs> you'd have to lead the way. I might mess up. And I might mess up on Family Feud. I might. And we have one more surprise for you. We can't sing because I don't want to torture the audience with my voice, even though Max can actually sing a little bit. Mm. Here's Dominique. Hi. Bringing out a <laughs> birthday cake for you, and look at the ah. picture on this. Thank you so much. Oh, Udo glasses. Oh, thank it's you. It's Southern Stevie A. Thank you, this Stevie who A. Who we all enjoyed. We got to see a little thank bit on Monday. Thank you so much. I and appreciate if you really it. want to know, it went next level. What? There were also cupcakes baked for you without frosting, because we were told that I don't you like, don't like. I don't like frosting on my cupcakes. <laughs> It's true, man. You don't like frosting, don't like frosting on, on your cupcakes. So people were that thoughtful in case you didn't want the frosting. This is yeah. red velvet. I'm stuff. good with everything but my sister's telling on me about the about the, about the, the steak. Best part. <laughs> I'm, good, I'm good with everything Max is telling, telling on me about that. But them. I appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, I appreciate everything birthday. from everybody on the show. Everybody, all of y'all, thank y'all so much. It's my on birthday. that note, because uh, we have a few seconds left, Monday night, you think the Lions could pull off the upset against the Packers? Um, it's possible. The Lions have looked pretty good this year. Um, 
The main thing is, Stephen A., I'm interested in these gurgling noises you were making as a kid. <laughs> were your first words, how about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? It might have been. Might have been. Might have been. Um, I, I, think, I think the Packers, it, listen, the game was, is it Green Bay? No, I thought it's in Detroit. You know, if it's in Detroit, listen, Detroit is not an upset Green if they Bay, win. Green They're Bay, close. Green Bay, Green Bay. They're close. It's, it's at I'm, Green still Bay. Rolling with, I'm still rolling with Aaron Rodgers, though, tonight. I ain't betting against that bad man. Yeah. He's a bad